Hey and welcome back to the channel, it's the Sketch Monkey here and in today's video we're gonna do something that a lot of you would want me to do and that is take the Porsche 944 rear view redesign that we did and also make the front view. It's fun to do sometimes and especially when the response was so positive for the 944 rear view. So what I'm going to do in this video is take the 928 and use that as a template for the front view. And the reason for that is we already talked about the 944. So I'm going to take the 928 and talk about the model during this redesign. Maybe you learn something about the car. At the same time, keeping the rear view redesign up in the corner so we have some reference to it because we're going to have to remodel the 928 to look like a 944. But at the same time look like a modern 928 if that makes sense so at the end of this video i'm going to show you both views both rear and front view side by side or on top of each other so you can have a complete overview of this porsche 944 redesign if you haven't checked the first video i'm going to link that up in the corner i think it would make more sense if you go and check that out first since that's the redesign that we're going to base this redesign on and with that said let's get into photoshop let's get to work and let's get started on this 928 redesign the porsche 928 featured a large front mounted and water cooled v8 engine driving the rear wheels originally displacing 4.5 liters and featuring a single overhead camshaft design it was rated at 219 horsepower for the north american market and 240 horsepower in other markets Porsche upgraded the engine from mechanical to electronic fuel injection in 1980 for US models, although power remained the same. This design marked a major change in direction for Porsche, started with the introduction of the 924 in 1976, whose cars had until then used only rear or mid-mounted air-cooled flat engines with four or six cylinders. Porsche utilized a transaxle in the 928, similar to the ones in the 924 and 944, to help achieve a 50-50 front-to-rear weight distribution, aiding to the car's balance. Although it weighed more than the difficult-to-handle 911, its more neutral weight balance and power output gave it similar performance on the track. The 928 was regarded as the more relaxing car to drive at the time. It came with either a 5-speed dogleg manual transmission or a Mercedes-Benz derived automatic transmission, originally with only 3 speeds, with 4 speed from 1983 in North America and in, in 1984 in other markets. More than 80% of the cars had the automatic transmission, and the exact percentage of manual gearbox cars for entire production run is not known, but it's believed to be around 15-20%. to The body, styled by Wolfgang Möbius under the guidance of Anatole Lapine, was mainly galvanized steel, but the doors, front wing, front fenders and hood were all made of aluminium in order to make the car more lightweight. It had a pretty decent luggage area for a two-door sports car, and this was accessed via a large hatchback. The new polyurethane elastic bumpers were integrated into the nose and tail and covered in body-colored plastic. This was an unusual feature at the time, but improved the visuals of the car and reduced its drag. Another unusual feature were the pop-up headlights, which were based on the units found on the Lamborghini Miura and integrated in the front wings. The 928 qualifies as a 2 plus 2, that means having two small seats in the rear. Both rear seats could be folded down to enlarge the luggage area, and both the front and rear seats had sun visors for occupants. The rear seats are small, and this is due to the prominent transmission hump, and have very little legroom, and this means they are only suitable for adults on very short trips or children. One cool feature of the 928 on the interior is that the instrument cluster moved along with the ad adjustable steering wheel in order to maintain maximum instrument visibility. The 
the 928 included several other design features such as the Visac axle, a simple rear wheel steering system that provides passive rear wheel steering to increase stability while braking during a turn, and an unsleeved silicon alloy engine block made of aluminium which reduced weight and provided a highly durable cylinder bore. Porsche's design and development effort paid off during the 1978 European Car of the Year, where the 928 won ahead of the BMW 7 Series and the Ford Granada. The 928 is the only sports car so far to have won this competition, where the usual winners are mainstream hatchbacks, sedans and saloons from major European manufacturers. And this is regarded as proof of how advanced the 928 was for its time, compared to its competitors. The Porsche 928 was in production from 1978 to 1995. It was in fact originally intended to replace the iconic 911, and it combined the power and handling of a sports car with the refinement, comfort and equipment of a luxury sedan. Now let's talk about the changes made here to this 928. The biggest issue or challenge that I had when doing this is to, first of all, make it look like a 9, uh, 944, since that's the one we used as uh, the rear view redesign. So there aren't really that many changes that needs to be done. The biggest changes are actually in the rear because we have a different rear window on the 944 compared to the 928. It kind of wraps around on top more. It goes higher than it does on the 928 and the side window is different as well. And then of course we need to add that fantastic integrated rubber wing that the 944 has. The 928 has more of a modern looking wing, but I wanted to keep the original 944 style of the rear integrated rubber wings. So that's one thing that needed to be adjusted and uh, modified on this redesign. And of course the entire front view of this 928 needed to be redesigned to make it look modern. I wanted to add these uh, typical modern four dot or four LEDs around one circle headlight and that's what I'm doing right here. I'm not making the headlight as big as a modern Porsche 911 because the headlights of a uh, 928, they're kind of small compared to the rest of the car. And, and when you look at the proportions of the car, so I wanted to have some smaller headlights, but still have that typical Porsche round headlights and the bulging fenders as well that doesn't come on the 928. I wanted to add those as well. And inside of these fenders, we have these beautiful headlights. Some more modern touches include these indicators on the side mirrors. That's something I've never done before. I've never really focused a lot on mirrors before, but for this one, I thought why not add something cool to the, to the side mirrors as well and update those. And most cars today, they have the side indicators in the side mirrors since cars need to have an indicator that's visible from the side and a lot of manufacturers don't want to ruin the body of the shape by adding a indicator inside of the body of the car. A lot of manufacturers choose to put them inside the side mirror and that's what I'm doing right here as well. For the front graphics of this car, if you look at the new 992-911, it's a very, very simple geometric graphic design in the front. And that's what I wanted to bring over to this 928 redesign as well. Nothing too crazy. It's not a Lamborghini. It's not a Ferrari. It doesn't have that Italian passion. This is a German sophisticated design and it's more of function over styling, and that means not too many creases or weird edges or styling cues just for the sake of styling. It's more angled towards function and simplicity when it comes to Porsche. And we are done. This is the complete redesign of the Porsche 944 slash 928, the complete 360 view. Every time I do this rear, both views, I feel like I should be doing them more often because it gives such a more, it gives such a uh, complete view of the idea 
that I'm trying to communicate with the design if we do both the front and rear view. So I might do that more in the future and I might even take old redesigns that I've done already and add the second view to those. I really like how this turned out. It looks like a perfect mix between old and new. We have some old cues with the uh, with the ducktail, the integrated rubber ducktail. The shape of the greenhouse itself is very old school, but at the same time we have the new features in the front, we have the new fenders, we have all the lines that goes in the body of the car, and it sits lower than the original as well. As always, thank you for spending a few minutes with me today. I'm the Sketch Monkey. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. That really means a lot to me. If you're new to the channel, if you enjoy these kind of redesigns, if you want to see a specific car, comment below and I'll see if I can make that happen. That's it for today's video. Thanks again for watching. I'm the Sketch Monkey. I will see you in the next video. Take care.